Well, here we are with uh, barbecuing 101. Today's uh, lesson is if you're going to barbecue, you, you you drink at least or try to find at least a decent beer. Today's beer is uh, Budweiser. It's always it's, it's a fact. If you drink a good beer, you'll have a good barbecuing experience. Now, there's some people I'm not mentioning their names, Paul, that think that you drink you drink cheap beer that you get a good uh, good barbecuing experience. That's just not that's not true. You know, barbecue and beer goes together. You know, so good beer, beautiful ribs, which I uh, seared on the burner there. Got uh, some diced potatoes. Um, everything's coming along nicely. Great experience today. I don't think me and the wife can eat all those ribs ourselves, so it'll probably be uh, something we'll have the rest for uh, for dinner tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, today's lesson is, you know, you're going to start off with a good beer. Normally, now, some people say uh, Budweiser's a crappy beer. It's a cheap beer. Macro Brewery. Well, normally I would buy Creamore Springs. Uh, anybody from Ontario knows that uh, Creamore is a pretty decent beer. It's a uh, micro brewery beer, and it's a high-quality beer. Normally I drink that. I don't. I, so I'm left with uh, good old uh, Budweiser, which I'm going to have a drink of now. Mmm. Awesome. Mmm, boy. I can just taste the, I can taste the ribs in that beer almost. <laughs> so, anyway. So, yeah, it's getting a little smoky here. <coughs> so, yeah, we're um, going to continue on here. They probably got another 10 minutes and they should be good to go. So, uh, there you go. Over and out.